everybody, it's Margaret with Texas Gal Treasures and I am bringing you a live haul video. These are some things that um, from two thrift store stops last week and then a garage sale this morning. So I've been really trying to scale back on what I buy because I buy, I've been buying a lot of jewelry, um, but I still like to go in and check out the thrift stores. So I have a couple stops that I made um, last week and then yes, this morning, I did go to a garage sale. I know it's January, what, 5th? But it was like in the 50s here where I live in Texas. So she, Jenny went with it. And it was Jenny's garage sale who she does the house cleanouts and stuff. She swears she's moving to Colorado someday, but she keeps getting more uh, clients. And so the, I guess the money's really good for her. So she hasn't moved yet. So it's good for her, good for me, good all around. So hello, everybody in the chat. Hi, Mary, and hello, Arlene, and Michelle, and Fran, and Catherine. I made it, finally. <laughs> I put in the, our group, International League of Thrifters, uh, and on Instagram, that I was going to go live around noon-ish, and then a friend of mine called me and really needed me to go by her house and help her out with something, so I got pushed back. So here I am. I made it, finally. Oh, look, you can see my messy house. Let's move that. Can you see my cat tower over there? Can you see it? Can you, there is it. Where is it? No, you can't see it. Where is it? No, you can't see it. Okay, forget it. <laughs> I'll be revealing too much <laughs> of the mess. <laughs> I got my cats. If you if you follow me on Instagram, I think I shared it there. We got one of those big tall cat towers that's got like four levels. So each cat had a level. And I came out. I was putting the kids to bed last night. I came out, and each one cat was on each level. Boom, 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 boom. And so I was like, oh, I gotta get a picture of this. So I'm making squeaky noises and snapped a picture. Not haul related at all, but hey, <laughs> it's me. Hey, Susan, and hello, Treasure Pirate, and hello, Sarah. Yay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with the thrift hauls from the thrift stores, and I saved my receipts I, just to show. Like, I didn't spend that much. So one trip was $15.54, and one trip was $5.57. So I really am trying to get smalls because of, yeah, smalls. <laughs> All right, so first up, let's just move forward. Let's just go. Um, I got this fabric, and it is vintage troll doll fabric so there's a good you know yard of fabric there so that's pretty cool and i pulled up a screenshot to share with you guys hey kathleen hello and let's share my screenshot of what i think i can get this one is not as good as i was thinking it was going to be um so these are sold hang on let me move it up these are sold and this i know it's saying it in euros six whatever in euros so let's take a peek well, this is half a yard mine is a yard so it says approximately well 6.99 here um so maybe double that maybe about 12 bucks maybe i'll put 14 bucks on it because mine is a yard not half a yard um yeah we're searching searching okay that's coming up in a second stop that stop i see there we go hey heather hey fun stuff and then the next is also a fabric panel. I, I like picking these up. Um, so this is one of those cut and sew type fabric panels. And this is Rainbow Bright. And it is the seven sprites from Rainbow Bright. And it's uh, marked on there, 1983 Hallmark. So... <laughs> Julie says, hello, I'm supposed to be washing clothes. Me too, you should see my couch. It's like a mountain of clothes. But no. Clothes will wait. <laughs> here's the uh, here's what I think I'm going to get for the Rainbow Bright. Oh, I really squished it down. Um, okay, so one of them sold on Etsy, and it was I think it was this one, yeah, out of stock, but fifty five bucks. So I don't know if that's what they sold it for because when it pulls up, normally it'll say you know this item is sold, and I can go take it to Flipper Tools and um, see what the actual sold price was, but it's not there, because I, I don't know why. Whether they just took it down, who knows, whatever. Um, so this is what they're showing on there. Um, let's see what I found. Yeah, this is on eBay, and I oh, three bids to sell um, this for 10 bucks 50. So $55, $10, maybe I'll split the difference, you know, and go somewhere in the middle. Um, of that okay stop there let's see fun stuff says i would have thought it would be worth more especially with the newly released movie that's true i didn't look at the date 
on the trolls. So, so I need to get it listed ASAP because I, you know, you want to hit it while the strike while the iron's hot, as they say. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Treasure Pirates currently listing a mega haul. Awesome. Hello, Gail. Hello. Okay. And then next up, I picked up. I, I paid up for this. I did. I spent $3.99 on, and that's a lot for me, honestly, uh, this gold tone bead necklace. And it is the little hang tag there. It's a Monet brand. And let me show, I mean, I probably paid way too much for this. So, but I don't know. I guess I was having one of those moods where I needed to buy stuff. I just, you know, you know how it is. I need to buy something today. Thank goodness I sell stuff or I'd be in major trouble. <laughs> So here is, you know, on, this is Etsy, and I see if, let's see, some, where was my similar one? This one, someone selling for 15, the picture's not great, I gotta be honest. This one, 25, those are ones that are not, there's, they're not sold, but it's just kind of comparables on, on Etsy. Here's one, seven bucks, no, 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 I won't do that. And then I know I pulled up eBay as well, and I think these are sold, so 14.95, let me double check. Those are sold, though, I think. Yeah, sold listings. So $14.95, that's a little bit better. So I'll probably put it, you know, around that mark, around the $15 uh, mark. Let's see. No, I'm not going with, yeah, no, I don't, I don't do, and that's the thing, too, because that was ten fifty, and it was an auction for that troll fabric. You're right. You know, and it was like three bids. But you're right. I don't go with auction. I should, yeah, I didn't wait for that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, again, I probably paid a little more than I would like to have, four bucks. If I'm going to sell it for 14, that's, I mean, it's still an okay profit if I get what I want for it, but I'd rather not spend that much. And then I picked up these. I also paid up $4.99 on these earrings, um, and I think they're silver. They are not marked. I've gone over them with a um, my loop, and they are not magnetic, but, I mean, they have the look, the feel, the everything. So I'm going to test them. But, but yeah, there, I've been all over these things and they are not marked at all. So if they're, I didn't even look that up, like what these would go for if they were silver. Um, so I'll have to look it up. I mean, I, if, if they're silver, probably close to the $50, $40, $50 is what I'm thinking on those. Um, but again, I'll have to check them out. I bought this, but I like to hang on to these for my boys. <laughs> They've got a few shark's tooth necklaces. Maybe I'll sell it. Buck 99 and it's on like this cord. I don't know. I like... You know, I like to buy stuff that has to do with fossils and rocks and minerals and stuff. So that kind of falls into that category. I just buy it. Um, and then I bought this for me because we have a bunch of my grandmother's slides. So it's one of those, you know, you can put the slide in and it's got a bulb in there. I can't open it right now. But yeah, it's battery operated. So you can put the slides in and, and take a peek. She's got a whole slide projector, but uh, that's a big setup. So that's $3.99. That's for me. And that'll be helpful, too, if I find slides that I might want to sell or take pictures of. And let's see. Ironing. No, what's ironing? <laughs> and then I picked this up as well. This was $1.99. I don't know if you can see that. Remember, that was a buck ninety-nine. The chain is not really silver. I'm not sure about the pendant. Okay, so let me hold it still. So look, isn't it cool? This pendant's got this, like, hummingbird on it with the flowers. And it, it has the look and feel of silver, except for this gold stuff around the back. I don't know about that. So, again, there's no markings on it. I'm going to have to do a little more. I mean, it's not magnetic. This part is not magnetic. This part is. So, but I don't, I mean, with that tarn, that gold-looking tarnish makes me think it's probably not silver. But I'm going to look, you know, look at it closer anyway. And, and then, also, I didn't look this one up either. So... I don't know. I, and I'm meant to be tallying too. Okay, let me let me tally. Because I want to see, like, what, what is everything going to go for? Okay, what did we say? Rainbow Bright Fabric, I'm going to put 40 bucks. We'll see. I'm going to go, okay, I'll be more conservative on the trolls. Trolls, I'm going to say 15 just to be conservative. Uh, 15 on the gold necklace, not real gold. 20 on the earrings because I'm not sure if they're really silver or not until I find out. It could be more. And then this one. Ooh, let's think. Uh, gosh, it's really cool. So I'm going to put 40 bucks on it. Even though it's not silver, I think that it's good enough uh, subject matter. Bird people love birds, you know, and hummingbirds. You know, there's a lot of people that like hummingbird stuff. So I really think that it won't matter that it's not real silver. I think somebody will still pay for 
for what it is, you know? Okay, so that's good. I'm trying to keep a tally so, because you know I put like 60 bucks turns into, uh, I don't know, I didn't add it up yet. <laughs> okay, so next, is that everything from the garage sales? I mean from the thrift store? Do, 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 do. Yes, because I'm keeping that. Okay, so that was 20 bucks about of what I spent. The rest is spent $40 this morning at the uh, garage sale. And I did pay up for a few things. And at first I was kind of like, I can't believe I'm paying up. And now I'm like, okay, I'm cool with it. <laughs> so the first, one of the first things I got, which is not exactly a small, and it is got, it's got cobwebs on it. Look at guys. It is this mask, which I think it's Mexican from what I'm researching. I'll, I'll pull it up and show you. Um, in the back, looks like such. I mean, it's carved wood. It's got cobwebs and stuff, so I'll have to clean it. Um, but it, it's really cool. So I think it's a, like a Mexican Diablo mask. At first I was thinking Bali or something like that, tie because of the ears. But then the more I looked, the more Mexican masks were popping up. <laughs> Gail says, oh no, I found you found my ex. <laughs> Nightmares, right? Okay, so let me pull up what I found out about. Did I, did I close those tabs out? Oh, no, no, I didn't. Here we go. All right, so here's what I found. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm seeing, like, he looks kind of like that, or this old vintage Mexican devil mask, carved wood. He kind of looks like that or that. They've got the pointy ears, right? He looks kind of like that. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy. And someone now, look, he, do, he does have like, he's got a hole in his head too. Mine does too. I wonder if that's significant. Who knows? Because mine does, mine has a hole right there as well. I wonder if the other one does. That one. He's creepy. Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay, stop that. All right, so yeah, he's got, he's got a hole too. I don't know if that's from hanging it. Or something because it goes all the way through yeah so I mean I am thinking I'm gonna put a good bit of money on them I mean because there was one that was 90 bucks they're not sold and then there was that 200 buck one so maybe I'll put them around the the hundred dollar mark why not right I'm not putting them on my face <laughs> that would be a good thumbnail though but I'm not gonna put them on it's kind of kind of creepy okay so there's that um, so cool. All right, I'm going to put 100 bucks down here. Maybe I should put 80 to be conservative. Um, but yeah, I think to let the evil spirits out. That's what the hole's for. Here we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to put 80 down here, even though I'll probably price him, you know, I'll probably price him like 125 with best offer or 150 with best offer, something like that. I'll do a little more research and find out. But I didn't see any markings. And if you see him and like, no, that's not Mexican, that's. Because my first gut was like, I thought, I thought it was like Bali or Thai or something because you see a lot more of that with the tongue and the, but then, no, I don't know. Okay, just answer the door with it on. I should have, we ordered pizza last night. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> hmm, is anybody coming over today? I don't know. All right, next. Hey, Kim. Hey, Peaky Pants. All right. Uh, and then moving forward, get sure to the Jehovah's Witnesses. And I know they don't come over here. All right, so next up, did I close this? Okay, I got these. I didn't know. I just didn't. So I was like, okay, they're sealed composite shims. Either they sell for something, or my husband maybe can put them in the garage and use them. Uh, let's see. And that, <laughs> just wait. I'm not going to end up selling these. Look, I, you can buy this at the Home Depot. Or is this Lowe's? One of them for a buck eighty-five. <laughs> But I think I only paid 50 cents, so I, I still got a good deal. <laughs> I don't know. I see stuff like that. I don't know exactly what they are, and maybe my husband can use it. Who knows? Um, let's see. Somebody said something about the masks. Okay. Melissa says, anything devil-looking wouldn't be from Asian cultures. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then Susan says, reminds me of the Twilight Zone episode where people's faces became the same as masks, so don't put it on. Oh, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I didn't know exactly. So I, I said, Randy, can you use these? And he's like, oh, yeah, I can use those. So that was good. And then the next thing I picked up it were, okay, I saw these sitting on the table. And at first I passed on them, these three 
um, like copper, and then their measuring cups. Where does it say? I saw one of them had a marking on them that said the measurement. Oh, on the bottom. So they're measuring cups. Then I was like, I have a feeling there's supposed to be another one. So I didn't want to pick up an incomplete set. So as I'm walking around, I find the other one, like sitting somewhere else. Ta-da! So I got them. Um, and I was the first one there, too. So I don't know how they got separated unless Jenny just put them all separate. So, again, I don't know. I think $2.50 is what she charged me for a lot of these. Eight bucks on the mask. I know it all ended up being 40 bucks. So eight on the mask, 250 on these. Um, let me put them down and I'll show you. So I pulled up some on the web. The web, let's see. Come on. <laughs> Could you use them to make Moscow mules? Mm. My friend AJ just had one of those the other day. I'd never had one before. It tasted okay. <laughs> all right, so here we go. These are on Etsy. Uh, and here's a set going for $23.99. Here's a set for going for $40. So they're kind of, oh, this, this one's really cool. So mine, that's, this one's going for $12. So yeah, I mean, that's like a 20 buck difference. Come on. <laughs> Help me out. I got to figure this out. What am I going to put on mine? That's $40. Okay, so I'm seeing a few more kind of leaning towards the $40. $12. Oh, he's, you're missing one though. $40. Okay, so I've seen enough of them around the $40 mark that I'm thinking that that's probably what, <laughs> Pinky Pants says, I was thinking Moscow as well. Why does this thing make you think of Moscow? Maybe I need to do a little more digging on that. My, my history needs a, a brushing up. And Chili says I was having withdrawal. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put 40 bucks down there because I see enough of them right around that mark. And then there was like a couple that were in the $12 mark. Okay, then what do I have next? Okay, this was on her table. And I pick up tins, but then you want to check like and see if this one is a reproduction or if it's an original. And I flipped it over on the bottom and I saw this like, I think this is like a tax stamp. And then you can see this, the, the tape from the side where it was here. Um, it's a tobacco tin. So I'm pretty sure that's like the tax stamp on the bottom there. Um, of that edge worth sliced tobacco pipe tobacco it's filled with you know pins in there so I was really psyched that I saw that it was a, you know a vintage like original not a reproduction so that was cool hey Jenny and then um, here we go I don't know if I said hey to Cindy hey treasure Robin Hood Robinson hello I know I'm missing people that are talking in the chat so apologies if I missed you okay so here is the tin and again, I've seen prices kind of all over the place. I mean, I'm guessing condition counts too because some of these are in better condition than others. These are sold. Okay. So here's one for $15, $7.95. Okay, those are bids. Let's turn off auctions. How about that? Let's only do buy it nows because really, I don't do auctions. <clears throat> and 15 bucks. This one's a little taller than mine. 10 bucks. Did I look on any other site? That's you. That's you again. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put 15 bucks for I mean, that may be, you know what, I'll put 10. I'll put 10 and be conservative. So still, that's pretty cool. I think she charged me 50 cents for it, or a dollar. I don't remember. Anyway, hey, Brenda. Hey. <clears throat> Jenny says, I've done well with old tins. Look that up for a cup on eBay or Etsy. You might be able to sell the two large ones as separates. Really? I don't know that I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to sell them as a set. Probably. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Have you got my packages? I hope so. <laughs> okay, next up is a bowl that I picked up. She did charge me 50 cents for this one. So it's a wooden bowl, and it's got these beads on the inset on the sides, like so. Um, it's a bit dirty, but, you know, it was cool. So <clears throat> let's see what I found about this. I didn't find, well, I found this one, but I didn't find what it sold for. So that was it. Oh, good, Kate. Good. Okay, so there's that. That's kind of similar. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't it. So I said, look, I found this one. It's almost just like it. But then when I click over into eBay, it doesn't pop it up. It pops up everything else. <clears throat> and I tried searching for it. No, no good. So I just kind of am at a loss for what I'm going to put on it. Um, truly, I just don't know. What is this one going for? Let's just throw, let's throw this one out there and see see wooden bowl because I just don't know what are they 20 bucks look at this okay 
I'm going to have to do a little more research. That one's going for 89. I seriously doubt mine is 89. But then I don't want to undersell it, right? I don't want to undersell it. So I am going to put, <clears throat> let's see, I'll, I'll just put 20 down there for now because I just don't know. So it might be more, might be less, but I have a feeling it would be try wooden turned bowl maybe. Is that what that is? How do you know? I don't know. Wooden turned bowl. Okay, let's pop that in real quick. Wooden turned bowl. I clicked it. Hmm. I don't see. Well, that looks, eh, no, not really. Uh, okay, I'll have to look at it more later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> I haven't been able to drink coffee because of the acid reflux, so I tried green tea today, and that didn't help either. So I, I haven't had a whole lot of caffeine. Look on the bottom of the bowl. Okay, let me show you the bottom. So it's got like this little pedestal. There's a pencil mark that I, looks like six, it's either 61 or I don't know if I turn it that way no 19 I like 61 better than 19 so what do you think I don't know you guys this looks like it would be a different piece because the grain of the wood is going differently or maybe not no it's not never mind I don't know what I'm talking about chicken what chicken broth bowl chicken broth bowl and I don't care okay that's why you're here right <laughs> okay um next <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> Next. Okay, this one I did not look up as well, which is why I don't have a page. I'm trying to get my hands around it. I don't have something, I don't have any research for it because I think it's hand done. So this lion is on the top. I think he's on, like somebody put him on there because then the sides are like decoupaged. Unless they just decoupaged around him. Look at the, maybe he did come with that because he matches the, the hinges. So maybe it was, maybe it came with him on there, and then the, because the, the hinges match, and maybe somebody went back and decoupaged it afterwards? I don't know, that's weird. But there's like a stein, there's another stein and a pipe, another stein, what's on the front? Kind of hard to see. Pipes and steins. It says addresses, and it is full of addresses. Ta-da! Like that. So I did go through them, because I was like, what if there's like hidden money? <laughs> No, but there's some pretty cool like vintage, you know, stuff like this is like Scotty's fried chicken and they were, you know, this was like sent in the mail and the, it was five cents to send this <laughs> Scotty's fried chicken thing. In. Anyway, so that was kind of cool. It has that old paper smell. And then when it opens up, it's got this string that supposedly holds it, but it doesn't. So <laughs> Anani says, I love how you start singing after you say certain words or phrase. Do that too. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Drives my kids crazy. <laughs> yeah, the, the brush your teeth song. Anyway, so I don't even know what I'm going to put on that because it's really awesome. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put 40 bucks in, in, no, I'm going to be conservative. I'll put 30, but I'll probably put it closer to 40 or more. Um, but I'll look into it. It's just so cool. Hang on, let me show you again because you haven't seen it enough apparently in my brain. But that, that line is really awesome. And then the hinges are super awesome. I just love it. I mean, look at that. Cool, right? This Fleur de Lis. Okay, so put about 30 bucks on that. And then let's see what I have next. Okay, so I have all my big, so that there's some jewelry left. I saved the, the little bit of jewelry for the end. Yep, I did. Okay, so first up, this ring, and Jenny said this was given to her as a gift, so if you gave it to her, apologies, she sold it to me. So, <laughs> and it's a, she said it was vintage, I can't believe her, um, maybe even antique, but it's really kind of banged up, I don't know if you can see, like it's dented around on the sides and stuff, and then it is marked 980, so that's a different, um, like there's 925 silver, and then there's 980. 80 silver. So 925 silver is like 92% or something like that silver. And then 980 is, I pulled it up because I didn't want to tell you wrong. So let me show you. Uh, so I, yeah, I know me and I'll just start saying it wrong. So yeah, 980 is 98% silver, whereas 925 is, I don't know, 925, you know, silver. So 
92.5% silver. So it's got more silver content than a 925, but I don't think it really translates into more money. It just kind of depends on this. I, I'll, I find a lot of times it just depends on, you know, the style and the setting and the if it's something that somebody wants. Okay, let's see. Um, I didn't find this exact ring. I saw this ring from Ruby Lane, which I don't think mine will go for that much because it's dinged up. And here's another one. This is on Etsy. It's similar-ish, but it doesn't have all the damage. Um, 40 bucks. So, yeah, I, I am leaning. And see, this one's 20 bucks. So I'm gonna, I'll probably put mine around the $25 mark. Just, you know, because I do that and then best offer on it. So, oh no, Christian, you're late. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We still have more to come. A little bit more. Three more. Four more. Four more. Okay, and then the next piece. Oh gosh, I wish I could remember what I paid for that. It's okay. It'll be okay. This one I paid eight bucks for. I think I paid too much. But I'm okay because if that mask goes for a hundred, it's cool. So this is a little... And I took a chance on it because I wasn't, it was dark. I was using my phone because it was dark. It was like 6.30 in the morning. So the chain is marked uh, 925 Italy. And then it's got this heart pendant. I don't know if you can see it's, it's stamped sisters on there. It's also 925. But I couldn't, um, I couldn't see what it was. So I was like crossing my fingers, maybe it's white gold in my dreams. I could see a stamp, but I couldn't make it out. Jenny apparently couldn't make it out either. So we, we settled on eight bucks. So it was a bit more, because I don't think I'm going to get more than that for it. Um, do I think my sister would wear it? Probably not. <laughs> I could just give it to my sister. No, no, she wouldn't wear it probably either. So yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to really make anything off of that because no I just won't but it's okay because I've got other things to make up for it because look here are eight bucks I mean I'll probably put that's kind of nice e oh I'm kind of torn about where I'm gonna put it these are all eBay's so <clears throat> hmm I'm gonna just put in in here I'll put 15 bucks but I'll probably list it for closer to the $20 mark with best offer um it was Mary. <laughs> Just sent you a link in PMs. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I didn't turn. I didn't mute my stuff. Okay. Then I'm saving the best for last, you guys. I am trying to save the best for last. Oh, and I didn't look this up either. Okay. Oh, I just closed out something. Darn it. Let me open that back up. Okay. So three more things. <laughs> no, it's okay, Mary. It's real life. So then I got this, and I posted a picture in the groups of this bolo but it's not exactly like a bolo tie so it's this bolo somebody knotted it right here so i've got to unknot it and then it's got the little bits on the end but it's like a net it's a necklace i've never seen one do that before why did they tie it i don't know so i'll untie it maybe it kept coming out i don't know so there's that and these are leather on leather straps right there I think they're leather yeah they're leather um so Let's see, Christian says, I wanted to ask you about the Pluto ring. Oh, is that that ring? Yeah, that Zuni one. Um, I didn't list it yet, but I will be listing it soon because it was, you know, really a lot of money. I just like to hang on to money in my house. And a, <laughs> a bolo for the bolos. Let's find out. So here is what I found out about the bolo. I couldn't find like a bolo necklace, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at around the $20 mark 18 20 bucks these are i just did like a google search for it it just kind of depends concho deer skin well mine is not handmade so i'll probably put it around the 20 dollar mark maybe 25 with best offer yeah because there's a lot of them closer to that so yeah i'm gonna put it i'll put 20 in the spreadsheet to add up but i'll probably put it closer to the 25 dollar mark with best offer and then, and then this is another one that I shared, and it is, and the reason I, I, I posted the photo in black and white, because I didn't want people to be able to tell if things were gold or silver or, or whatever, so there'd be a little surprise, but isn't it pretty? So it's this like inlaid abalone and shell uh, maple leaf, 
And someone shared a link and theirs had a, a signature on the back and asked if mine did, but no, mine doesn't have a signature. I think it's really pretty and I didn't look it up for whatever reason. So I'm going to put a lot on it. <laughs> but in the, okay, here's what I'll do. In the spreadsheet, I'll put 20 bucks, but I have a feeling I'm going to end up listing it for more unless I see a bunch of them out there and then I'm wrong. So, but I think it's really pretty and I haven't really seen one just like this before. So I put 20 in the spreadsheet. I'll probably list it for more than that. Yeah, cool. Okay, now this is really good. <laughs> Again, Jenny and I were in the dark. Last item I picked up was this cross. And I was like, okay, it's, um, you know, silver, probably like rhinestones, Swarovski crystals. And so I get home and I'm like looking things over with my loop. And then on the back of the cross here, it's uh, 10K. So when I see 10K, I start thinking those might not be crystals. They might be diamonds. Um, and it looks like one of them is broken off down here. It almost, I mean, it almost looks like it's handmade. So I don't know if you can see the way that the stones are set on there. So it, it appears, because there's a big rough patch down here, that perhaps there was one more down on the bottom. Um, and so I, I got out my diamond tester. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it out for you. I'm going to whoop it out. Uh, let me charge it or, yeah, whatever. It's got to do its thing. But anyway, and then when I, when I was looking at it, there's another mark, like a maker's mark, but it's really scratched, so it's hard for me to tell. And I'm going to test this to make sure it really is gold, but I did test the diamonds, and they are. So there, there's a bunch of little ones around the heart. There's four small ones here, and then there's this one here that <laughs> I know. <laughs> so here goes. So if it goes like, then then that's, that's real. Okay. So, so that's a yes. So. Yay. So, so it turns out to be a 10 carat and diamond. Um, yeah. And I paid $8. I know. I was just like, Oh, and part of me was, was saying, maybe I shouldn't say something because if Jenny ever watches my video and sees that she's going to start charging me a lot more for everything, you know? Um, so yeah, like the ring that I got when I was at garage sales, had a lot of little chips in it. And so my question is, I'm gonna to have to talk to my friend of mine who worked at a jeweler, because I don't know about, about sizes and carrots and things like that, but the one in the middle is, is significant, is enough. I don't have my wedding ring either. It's bigger than the diamond in my wedding ring. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna ask her about that and like, because the one in my wedding ring is like the size of one of these little ones right here. And then it's kind of surrounded by little like sapphire and, and little small chips. So, I'm going to ask her about that. So that might be something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't, I'm not adding that into my spreadsheet because I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. You know, I don't really, I have one cross that I wear that my grandmother gave me. I don't really wear crosses. I don't see myself wearing this one. Um, but yeah. Okay. So I'm excited about that. And I feel like my, you know, go 2017. Let's, let's do this. But, and that's another thing too, right? I don't need more stuff, but if I hadn't went ahead and gone out and looked, then I wouldn't have picked that up. So I don't know. I do, okay, let me just stop rambling and share with you some screen shares. <laughs> Love the jewelry house. Thanks. Let's be happy thrifter. Um, Melissa says the price would also depend on the diamonds clarity fire. And if there's inclusions, etc. this is true. See, I know, I mean, not like, a teensy bit, but that's about it. You know, like here's one. So, you know, it's 10 carat and it's got a diamond, it's $89.99. So, you know, so it seems like it would be a lot. And that's what I told my boys. I was like, yeah, if, <clears throat> even if it's gold, like 10 carat gold doesn't go for as much as other carats of gold. So, um, yeah. And then this one's got some damage to it. So I don't, I just don't know. It's a big question mark for me. So even if it was, I don't know. And I meant to get my scale out just to weigh it, to see like, let's say I did a gold, um, just scrapped it for gold and just got the stones popped out, right? <laughs> um, but I didn't, I didn't pull it out. Anyway, but the, yeah. Okay, I'm just rambling now. So I, I'm not putting anything down in the 
Well, maybe I should. Maybe I'll put a hundred bucks down here. And maybe it's worth more. We'll see. Get it appraised, and they will grade the diamonds at the same time. <laughs> Running to the jewelry jewelry for appraisal. That's a good idea. I mean, I wonder how much an appraisal costs. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Maybe if I took something else with me, because then they have to write it out on a paper and blah blah blah. Keep keep a lookout, guys, because it. I mean, if if it's it's out there. So <clears throat> anyway, oh, let me add it all up and see what we turned our sixty dollars into. Hours, like it was ours. Mine, no, <laughs> my sixty dollars. Uh, four hundred ninety dollars. Pardon me. <clears throat> Again. Okay, so. So far, you know, if the mask sells for around 80 to 100, and if this is, is end up being, if this ends up being worth more than, than 100 bucks, you know, or about that, then, then that's good. Then that's, what did I say again? $490. Christian says we all get a cut. No. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I know, Fran, and that's the thing too. My my little one says my because uh, when I got that when I found that diamond ring with all the little chips in it, and I was gonna sell it, and he was like, "But mommy, you need diamonds." So I was like, "Okay, I have to keep it just for that." And so if he says that again, I'm like, "But mommy, you need diamonds." Like, I don't know, honey. I don't know. <laughs> we also need to pay for the van. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> oh gracious again <clears throat> pardon me um again i i forgot again <laughs> oh yes julie um benefit from my expertise we have 49 watchers so if you could hit the like button i would really appreciate it i see we only have eight likes at the time of me looking at it anyway so if you could hit that like button i really really appreciate it and i will let you know what i find out if you're in international league of thrifters um, follow me, you know, you can fo follow there or follow me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, and also on Instagram, and I'll keep you posted about what I find out about the cross. Okay? Don't smash it. Just click on it. Tickle it. There it goes. It's going up. Yay! We've got 49 viewers. Let's see if we can get 50 likes. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Thank you.